I, Skip, I, I think what was, was this? I, I think it was some, some some realness to it, but Skip is hype. I mean, it's not getting the buzz. Um, hell, I had honestly I had forgotten about it until you know I, I, I'm watching the press conference uh, yesterday. Um, for whatever reason, it hadn't generated the buzz that I thought it would. Because, Skip, it's not like Tyron Wood is just a guy off the street. He's a comeback. Or, he's, you know, he was a champion in the UFC. Yep. And, Five times he was. Right. And we know who he's the... He's probably a top... At least you go to top three welterweight of all time. Yeah. He, yeah. He, and we know who Jake Paul is. Um, and he's done... Do a, we? Yeah. Do we? Well, I Skip, don't know. He, well, he's a YouTuber, but he's done a great job of yep. marketing, marketing himself yep. as a fighter. And he's like, look, I, I'm taking this serious. I put my time in. I can, you know, I can throw the hook. I can throw jabs. I can do combos. I can put punches together. And you're going to see that. You've only seen, a, you know, a fraction of what I'm capable of doing. Tyron Woodley. Uh, and, I, and I think the thing is, Skip, anytime we see situations like this, we saw Conor McGregor uh, and, and Floyd. Nobody really was doing it better than Muhammad Ali because he stayed getting up under people's skin. And people wanted to see, a lot of times people want to see, is he going to do what he says he's going to do? Or, man, I just want to see him get beat. And that's what kind of what Floyd, people just turned to watch Floyd fight, bought Floyd, Floyd's fight just to see him lose, to say, I saw Floyd Mayweather lose. Mm. Well, all I hope is that Tyron Woodley takes the sport serious. He takes this guy serious. You can't say because I was a combat fighter that I'm going to be straight. Skip, mm -hmm. no more than I can say because I was an ex-football player, I would be good at basketball or I would be good at baseball. No, you better respect the sport for what it is. Mm -hmm. It's not something that you're used to. This kid has seemed to have taken it serious. Mm -hmm. He's put the time in the gym. He understands how to throw punches. He understands how to put punches together. He understands how to walk people into punches because he walked Nate Robinson. And I understand Nate Robinson, I don't believe Nate took it as serious as he needed to and walked him into a punch. But I think if Tyron Woodley takes this, point, this fight serious, he can, he can cause this kid some problems. Okay. I see everything you just talked about completely upside down from the way you just presented it to me. I am very into this, and I think it's going to be a big deal, and I'm going to be on the edge of my seat watching it on Sunday were you in? Were you, were you big in before or after they got into it at the press conference? Do you remember we had Jake Paul on the show? Yes. I'm into Jake Paul because I think he's legit. Yeah. I think he's for real. I told him this when we had him on the show. Right. I don't think he's just a hype master. I don't think he's all P.T. Barnum, hurry, hurry, step right up and watch this. Right. I don't think he's trying to convince people to watch something that's not real. I think he is taking this dead seriously, and I think watching Tyron Woodley yesterday, he's taking it dead seriously, yes. so to speak. I also last night got so fascinated by what happened at the, that we just that Jenny just talked mm -hmm. about that I started watching the all access on Showtime. Mm -hmm. It was an hour long. I only intended to watch it for five minutes. I just wanted to get the drift of it, and I couldn't quit watching it on on both their accounts right. because they're both fascinating the way they're building up to this fight. Mm -hmm. I believe Jake Paul will beat him badly. I, I believe Jake Paul is a legit boxer from everything I've seen and heard about him. And he he wants to take it up to the highest level where he is competing. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll just, just watch. I think he is a legit boxer. And his brother, I, I got to tell you, I think he's better than his brother. And his brother gave Floyd all he wanted, and Floyd did not take it seriously and right. was not in any kind of condition. Right. But I, I thought Logan Paul beat Floyd. I, I thought he outpointed him. And plus, the thing you have to understand that this that that Logan Paul went in the fight probably 40, 50 pounds heavier than Floyd. He was. It, 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 just it, too big for Floyd. In I order agree. for me to take these guys serious, they're gonna have to take somebody, get one of these okay. one of these guys well, that just fought in the, in the amateurs. Okay, but, I, I got it. He's working his way up the ladder. Now he is much be bigger than Tyron Wood, like yeah. much bigger. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's, he's gonna right. have a distinct reach. Yeah and weight advantage over Tyron right, Woodley. Right, 6'1 versus 5'9. Hey, but Tyron Woodley is a tough young man. He's right. He, he's an aging young man. Yeah, he's 39 I shouldn't, now. Him, I shouldn't call him a young man. I, when we've had him on in here, he, he seems like a young man. Right. He talked like a young man when he was so offended by what happened with his mom. And by the way, when I looked at the video, his, his mom was giving as well as she <laughs> took. And she is highly respected in the MMA circles right. because... She has been there from the start right. with Ty Woodley. Right. And she's been known to, when he beats a, a, an opponent, she'll go console the opponent. Right. She, she's made of the right stuff. She's, right. A, 
she's a by all accounts yes. a big-hearted, good-hearted that's, woman, that's and I hated we're... that it even escalated to this. Right. But it happens, right? And yet. Ty Woodley took this so seriously. If if you watch the video of him speaking, he he is outraged by this, and yeah. and he starts to talk about he don't know this lifestyle. You know, I'll shake this whole of the room. You know, uh, you you ain't never seen the likes of what I will do. I'll start hurting people. You'll start seeing orange, which is Paul's team's color, start dropping and hitting the floor. And as Jenny read, you know, I'll make people disappear. He's from Ferguson and right. that is the life. Right. Okay. And and I get that. And and it came all across as very legit. It right. didn't seem like staged or choreographed. Yeah, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta say this, Skip. You gotta, you gotta be believable. Now see, he got, he got you gonna have a couple of more people by the fight. Right. All I'm hoping. So Skip, you're saying it was all hyped. Yeah, it, yeah. It was I, all I, staged. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't buying it. Really? I just hope Woodley took this fight serious. Mm -hmm. He's prepared. Oh, he's taking it very seriously. Trust me. But you believe but you believe Paul, uh, 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 Jake Paul's going to get him out of there. I do because he's just too big and long for him and too skilled. And I don't think that Tyron Woodley, his, his boxing skills in MMA and in, in UFC competition right. were not his forte. No. So he threw, like, long, looping punches. You, you can't get away with that in no. here. This kid, this Jake Paul, he is training to be a boxer. And I, I like his hand action. I, I like the, his ring movement. He, he's legit to me. You're, you're going to see he's legit. But uh, Yeah, and I told him he better leave Canelo alone, though. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, Canelo's that's not his with goal. No, no. Well, well I mean, if he, if, if he lets Canelo get to be 40. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, well, 45. Take that long yeah. for him to work his way up Yeah, but, that. I mean, skill. But real boxers, I mean, real boxers his size, he got no chance. I mean, that kid's, what, 185, 190 pounds? Yeah, he told me when I asked him, I said, what are you, about 190? And I think he told me he was 205. Yeah, Skip, that's a light heavyweight. Okay, it is. I agree. Man, he get crushed. Yep. Well, uh, it, unless you work up to it, unless you're good at what you do. But uh, I did a piece with uh, um, with Pac-Man Jones. Mm -hmm. Pac-Man Jones is fighting tonight in Charleston, West Virginia. He says he'll fight Jake Paul at 175. Okay. I'd, I'd watch it. I would definitely watch the homie get with it. Okay. All right. Well, let's... We're going to make that happen. Yeah. Make that, you want to make that happen? <laughs> Do we get a cut? <laughs> I don't think we get a cut. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, it sounds like you won't be watching on Sunday night. I'm going to watch it. I'm, I'm going to okay. watch it just, just, just because. Mm. Just because because I know you're going to talk about it, and I'm hoping Willie show. Willie, just don't. Just, all I'm asking is just don't do what Nate Robinson did. You want to just put one case on no, just I don't for fun? Put, no, I don't want to put just nothing on just nothing. Fun. Come nothing. on. Why? How about one one bottle? Because nope. Nate told this was for the culture, this for the homies, this for the NBA, and then he a meme for the rest of his life. Just don't become a meme. That's all. <laughs> just don't become a meme. Okay. Okay, but we will watch it. Maybe not. Yeah, I'll watch on it. it. Yeah, I'm gonna watch I it. You gotta give. I think Hell Jake Paul after we Ain't anything else on TV skip Sunday night? Ah, uh, there's the Mac versus Cam. That'll work, right? <laughs> okay, okay, once Mac okay. and Cam get up out of yeah, there, you gonna still okay. watch it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we'll be watching. Okay, well, the Paul brothers, I got to give it to them. They do create hype and yeah. uh, excitement around this one. I'm looking forward to it, at least to see how it how it plays out. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.